Grip me. <laughs> Grip me. I hold it two different ways. So when I started throwing it, it was just in between the seams, three fingers like this. Why? It's just it's how it's comfortable. A lot of guys throw it with like two fingers. Don't a lot of guys here. use use the seam. Some do, some don't. I think Ari Dickey was more like up in here. So you're not even putting your knuckle on it. It's your no, fingertips. Everyone, it's a misconception that that's a knuckleball. Ah. Knuckleball is just your fingertips. It's pushing out. Oh, you're pushing it? Yeah. So it's on release. You, you want to get on top of it, and so you create this momentum to it. If you get here and you go to push it, it's probably gonna have backspin, which is gonna look like a BP fastball. It's like when we were playing catch. I always try to think this to get that downward tumbling action. So it's almost like a split finger or a Yeah, I was gonna ball. say, that's kind of similar to like my split. I was like, I'm forking, forking? Forking. I'm like forking the ball. Right, and if your hand lays back, it's just gonna flip It's gonna out, go right? under it, yeah, yeah, it's gonna go arm side. So I throw there. it that way and then um, a lot of times it breaks like a slider, down our way from lefty into a righty. So Cause you're so extended? Because I get like, I keep that three quarter arm slot cause yeah. it's not a traditional pitch for me. It's you know, I'm still a conventional pitcher with fastball slider, you know, yeah. all that. So then I was playing with uh, David Phelps a couple years ago. He's like, why don't you try throwing like a four seam? So I ended up going like this. And it actually, when it knuckled, it had more arm side movement to it. So it would break into lefties away from righties. So now I throw two so different So you can types. have both? I have both. I throw like this and then I throw like this. And why the three fingers? Have you ever tried to do like something with the pinky? So if you watch like Wakefield and RA, this finger yeah, the is finger's actually off. like this. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it's... I've tried two fingers, but when I go to push, it's like it. my finger length is different. I don't know how theirs is, but for me, I feel like I just didn't have the same thing and it would always spin out of my hand. Yeah, so and I you want to kill like all the spin. Absolutely. Like if we, we should you thrown, can read this logo when I'm throwing that's it, what that's, I'm, that's why I freak ball. out because yeah. when you throw it, I can legit read the logo. So. And then some of them, like you can read the logo and it doesn't move. Yeah, like it, stays it doesn't there the whole dance. time. Yeah. yeah. I want to. I want to see the pitch logic, like the ball that shows the data. Sure. I want to bring that out because it'll be no spin. It'll be weird. It'll yeah. say zero. And obviously, like guys come out here, like is wind blowing in or out? Well, if I was a traditional knuckleball player pitcher, I'd want the want wind the to wind be blowing out. out. Yeah. You want you that want wind it in your face, you. so it's blowing all over. Wouldn't the place. that be hard to control? Yeah, but it's also hard to hit. Right. So, I mean, if there's any wind at all, it's good as long as it's not blowing that way. Even side wind? Side wind's What good. would side wind do to it? Just so if, if it's blowing from the first base that got over, if I'm throwing a good knuckleball, it's catching it, it's gonna end up making a dance to the right side. So you gotta set, do you set sights like differently? No. no, I end up just looking right down the middle, have catcher get big right down the middle. I, you know, just wait to the last second to reach for it. You know, guys have a lot of tendency to try and go grab it and that's when it breaks the last like yeah, foot yeah, yeah. that it's there. They get so antsy? They get antsy yeah. and then they end up clanking it or just missing it completely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, wait until the ball's almost to your chest and then just... Have you had like personal catchers throughout your career? No, because, so when I, when I started throwing it, I was over in Korea. And when I was over there, guys just used regular mitts. They didn't have yeah. knuckleball mitts. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's just whoever wanted to catch it. Did they catch struggle it. due to that? At the start of it, they did, but after a while, it was fine because it was just, hey, thanks, you man. know, just another... That's some commentary. Yeah. Love that content. It was just another pitch. You know? Yeah. Um, obviously, there's times that they did clank the ball, but it is what it is. Right. So, How many, has anyone used a, like a knuckleball mitt to catch you? Um, and what is, how many, how many inches is a knuckleball mitt? I couldn't even tell you that to be honest. I don't even know. I have no idea. I want to like talk to a hitter and say, what's your approach? What have you heard like as hitters approach against a knuckleball? So I've heard with the knuckleball, if it's low, let it go. If it's high, let it fly. Meaning if it's up in the zone, that's, that's like a when sinker. you want to swing, swing it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, it's just like you're, you can't really keep your approach if, you know, you're looking middle away. Well, on a knuckleball, it kind of goes out the window. It's kind of see ball, hit ball, yeah. almost back in little. How hard is yours? Uh, it's low to mid 70s. That's I pretty hard. Keep it in that range. Yeah. Well, I mean, is me it better when it's soft? Like, do you notice like you're not as aggressive like with your arm speed with your knuckleball, or are you same arm speed and everything? I'll change it up. Sometimes I'll throw it the same arm speed, and other times I'll slow it down. I get worried that if I slow down too much, the guy's gonna say, "Oh, he's throwing a knuckleball." Yeah, but still, that's kind of the point, right? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. And I, you just hope that it's a good knuckleball, yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah. it's here. So you're me. still fooling guys, knowing that you got like heater, curveball, slider, change. Correct. And then knuckleball, so it's like a, a pitch repertoire. Correct. Interesting. Yeah. What if, what is guys um, like? I mean. Do you get most swing and misses on your knuckleball? No, actually, when I throw the knuckleball, I throw. It, I try and get contact because it's normally weak contact when when guys do hit it. Uh huh. You know, knock on wood. I don't think I've given up a home run yet on the knuckleball. Maybe once or twice in the last seven years that I've been throwing it. 
It's got to be hard so. to hit a homer off a knuckleball, right? Because there's no yeah. like, there's none of that velocity. Then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna start throwing one now. Okay. Yeah. I've never thought of. Uh... Like when you threw that one to me, how'd you try throwing it? I, I've always been told two fingers and put your knuckle on the ball. Yeah, no. Try and do just your fingertips, like dig your fingers I down got, in. But you shave your nails. See, I, I have like- Yeah, that my, wouldn't work. No, my nails grow so fast and I have this yeah. fake one too. So well, like, like your nails, are they hard or are they pliable? They're soft as Super flimsy. baby poo poo. Yeah. So you might be able to get away with it if it was hard, like. All right, show it to me again so the GoPro can get it. So you got that one? And that's gonna go fading glove side. For me, side. it's gonna go fading glove side, yeah. It's gonna be more like a slider action going down and away. Yeah. Or down and into a righty. And yeah. then this one with the horseshoe in towards my hand. Okay. Is more like if I want it to be more of a straighter action. All right. Throw it. So. Thanks, dude. You're welcome.